So we're right here at the Ob Obudu Mountain Resort and this is the highest point um, of the mountain resort. This is the presidential villa. I remember a story about the eagle. Uh, when the eagle begins to lose its precision, you know, first of all, for prambles, an eagle can look at, can, can capture objects, can view, can see objects from a very high way up, a very far way up, you know, and then it's able to fly down with great speed and precision to get its prey. You know, so let's say it's a chick or a chicken or something. It comes from that very great height with great speed and it picks it and it goes. It, it, it's got that precision. Again, an eagle can carry objects three times its own weight. Now, but sometimes the eagle realizes that as it tries to do that, it's losing its precision. Maybe it's missing its catches and so on. What does it do? An eagle goes to a very high mountain apart, you know, a very high mountain or a hill or some rock in some corner of that rock in a very high place. And it makes a nest there. It stays there. It scratches off its beak, takes off its feathers and its claws. And in those times, it feeds only from water and honey. It stays there in waiting until a new beak grows and new claws grow and then it waits for the right wind. Then it gets on and begins to glide and then it goes back to confirm that there's a restoration of precision. There are times in our lives when it looks like our precision is lost, when it looks like we're just struggling. Um, and even the things we know we can do, we don't find us getting the results that we know that we should be getting. It's needless doing it again and again and again if you see that your precision is lost. And like the eagle, you've got to borrow a leaf from the eagle and go to a place apart where you reinvent, where you, uh, you know, uh, develop new capacity, where you sharpen your vision again and load yourself with the energy with which you need to read. That's why Isaiah 40 verse 21 says, they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They will walk and not faint. As we prepare for the new year just up ahead, this is a good time to get to that place apart so you can hear clearly what the Lord is saying. You can catch new ideas and strategies that are from above and receive fresh grace for fresh impact. God bless you.